Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Yeah, let us discuss about the PAPR Peak to Average Power Ratio Reduction using clipping and filtering technique for non-linear communication systems. Yeah, let us discuss about the abstract of the product. So, orthogonal frequency division multiplexing is a method of encoding digital data on multi-carrier frequencies. So, OMDM has developed into uh, a popular scheme for wideband digital communications used in applications such as uh, digital television and audio broadcasting, DSL, internet access, wireless networks, power line networks and 4G mobile communication. So, the primary advantage of OFDM over single carrier scheme it is, able, uh, is ability to uh, scope with the serve channel so conditions without complex equalization filters so the channel equalization is simplified because of OFDM can be slowly modeled the narrow band signal rather than one rapidly modulated wide band signal so in this proposed work to reduce the PAPR so that is a peak average to peak reduction by using the clipping and filtering method so our basic concept is clipping and filtering method so the orthogonal frequency division multiplexing is widely used uh, and, and also it is used uh, orthogonal sub carriers and also available for bandwidth efficiently however as the number of sub carriers in OFDM increases the average I mean the peak to average power ratio it also increases so this high PAPR causes a significant distortion when passed through nonlinear amplifier so to reduce the PAPR the simplest method is to use the clipping method however using the clipping processing causes both in in-band dissertion and, uh, and also the out of band dissertion so but uh, but this can be reduced by using the filtering after applying the clipping so mainly focus in on clipping and filtering technique to reduce the PAPR so that is a peak to average power ratio of OFDM system with slightly increased in the PER yeah let us discuss about the flow diagram of the process so first of all generate the input data and then uh, it should be con uh, conventional encoder is used to encoding the input data and then serial to parallel conversion so converting the encoding process to converting the parallel conversion and then modulation QAM so here we are using a QAM modulation that is a quadrature amplitude modulation of the process and then pilot carrier so here we are using the pilot carrier in session to enable the voice uh, that should be processed of the IFFT data and then inverse fast Fourier transform and again uh, that is going to the clipping and filtering technique to reduce the PAPR here we are using the clipping and filtering technique to reduce the peak to average power ratio so and then these are the transmission model and then AWG and rally fading channel so that is additive white Gaussian noise so to reduce the rally fading channel by using the channel of the process and then receiver model so in this receiver model the inverse of the transmission model so here we use the FFT, pilot carrier remover, demodulation, parallel to serial conversion and also recording. So these are the receiver model of the process. So the AWG and relay fading channel calculating the value of particular value of the clipping and filtering of the process. So finally we calculating the PSD that is a power spectral density and BER of the process. So in the clipping and filtering it's, uh, it has a some block of the definition so to reduce the PAPR of the value. So that is calculated by using the yeah, this is the flow diagram of clipping and filtering with over sampling factor. So L and N point of IFFT. So here we uh, L is denoted by the over sampling factor and N is denoted by the number of subcarriers. So that is L dot N point IFFT process and then FC digital up conversion. So FC is a carrier frequency and then clipping. So clipping is the process of the clipping the I mean now uh, the values it should be clipping and then L dot in point of FFT process so in the L denotes the over sampling factor and L denotes the number of subcarriers is actually and then BPF so BPF is a bandpass filter by using the bandpass filter uh, here we are reducing the noise of the process and then L dot in point IFFT process finally LPF using so here we are using the LPF that is a low pass filter of the process so overall the clipping and filtering is the main concept of this process it will be reducing the noise or reducing the peak so in symbol interference like that to by using the clipping and filtering concept is best to reduce the value of the process so and then these are the overall flow diagram of the process yeah let us discuss about the running procedure for the process so click the main file and then run so it will be displayed first of all enter the data value so whatever it may be it will using you I think uh, here using the QAM modulation so QAM modulation is a I will leave the 64 data bit. so enter the value I will H and I enter the block size what type of block will be displayed so I will click 8 so here we are using whatever it may be I will click the 8 
So the process will be displayed uh, among the value of data value equals 64 and the enter the data block size is equal to 8. So in the clipping and process clipping and filtering process it should be clip the signal and also filter the signal. So first of all yeah this is the transmitted input data. So in the transmitted input data we are using randomly generated. So the data points and the transmission data points of a representation. So this is the transmitted input data of the process and then the next figure is a modulated data. So here using the modulated data QA modulation is applied. So it should be transmitted the modulated data by using the data points and also a transmitted modulated transmit data it will be displayed. <coughs> And the next figure this is a reshaping modulated data so it should be reshaped like that's it this is not the main concept it should be replaced that's that's it and then OFDM signal so here we using them so this is the normal OFDM signal minus 1 to plus 1 by clip uh, by using the clipping here we using the signal is to clip up to 0 0.4 so this is a different type of OFDM signal and also the clipping signal yeah and then next uh, enter the L factor so that is a 1 to 1.4 in, uh, in between the values so I will click 1.2 and then enter the number of transmitted signal power of 2 uh, that is preferable to greater than 32 so the value it should be greater than 32 so here I will using um, 42 like that and then enter the alphabet size so power of 2 and less than number of symbol so here using the less than transmitted of the signal less than the number of signal I will click a 16 like that so the process will be displayed yeah so finally the calculating value is so <coughs> so here we are using the, this is the normal OFDM signal so in the process of uh, like uh, histogram shifting and then clip to OFDM signal the clip to OFDM signal the process will be like that and then clip the and filter OFDM signal so the process is like that so the signal is very efficient compared to this all the process of the process so in the next figure is HPA. So HPA means high power amplifier. So the OFDM signal after the HPA. Before the HPA, after the HPA, it should be a uh, uh, lot of differences. So in the peak, so the peak will value is not in the uh, pointing value of the peak. So that is the uh, difference between the normal OFDM signal and the after the HPA of the process. And then in the next figure, so clip signal after the HPA. So that is the uh, OFDM signal after the HPA. This is the clip signal after the HPA. The value should be clipping of the process and then finally the value receive the input data so finally transmitted the input data and then receive the input data of the process so and then PIPR that is a peak average to peak ratio of original OFDM is 3.63 and then PAPR of clipped OFDM is 2.886 so this is the difference between the original and clipped OFDM of the signal so whatever it may be the value is uh, like 3.6 minus 2.88 it should be calculating 0.7 so 0.72 value it should be clipped by the using the clipping and filtering process so these are the overall running procedure for the product thank you for listening this video